I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Commodities Broker with RJO Futures here in Chicago, bringing some commentary here on Wednesday, August 21st in the energy markets. And let's dive right into it and uh, talk about what we've got going on here with crude. Uh, well, take a look at that chart. If you get a chance, pull up on October crude oil chart. We've seen a lot of weakness really uh, coming into the market here this week. Uh, go back here to the prior post. We were kind of talking and kind of targeting the uh, the short side of the market here. And, and if you look, we've gotten a lot of follow through with that yesterday, and we're getting some further follow through with it here uh, today. So far, uh, we've got uh, crude trading down right now around the 104.50. And if we take a look at the Brent, actually, Brent is weaker here, but we're trading only down about 13 cents right now around 110. And if you notice there, the Brent uh, 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 WTI spread is starting to widen back up. Uh, something I've talked about in some of these prior posts. If you'd like to get some more information on how you can take advantage of that, Give me a call, shoot me an email, and we can uh, we can discuss that. You know, part of the reason why we're seeing I think crude prices move lower is several things. One, and and I and I talked about this here in some of the prior posts as well, uh, is you know there's a fear premium that has been built into the market with some things that have been going on in, in Libya and Egypt here most recently. And I really think a lot of that has been factored into the market. Uh, when it comes to taking a look at the stuff in Egypt there, it doesn't really appear to be affecting too much of the oil market. On the other hand, Libya, uh, we are seeing production levels drop to the lowest level in two years. But I think when you start to look at the amount of oil that we have here in the States and what's really going on here, Supply, uh, you know, the supply still seem to be very adequate. Uh, we've got over, you know, approximately 340 million barrels here in the total stocks. That is off the highs, but still, by historical perspective, that seems to be ample oil right now, uh, you know, on the market. Uh, we did get EIA data out here, and we did see a draw in the stockpiles. And that was really in line with expectations. So traders aren't really buying up the the the, the idea that um, that the, you know near term there's a supply issue here. Actually, quite the opposite. That when you couple it with what we see going on in the equities market, which has certainly had a little bit of a weaker tone, I think is helping uh, these crude prices come under a little bit more pressure. Uh, technically, I think the market is and has been overbought here, and that's kind of what's helping prices. I'm kind of targeting down around that uh, 102 area, which is an area that that market uh, just uh, visited here not that long ago, uh, back here around August 9th. And I think if we were able to, uh, possibly the market may find some support there, but ultimately I think we could be pushing down, back down to around that $100 barrel area. So, you know, give me a call, shoot me an email, you want to talk a little bit more. Uh, also, you know, if you're not already a subscriber to check out our website or give me a call, we'll get you set up here for the eView uh, newsletter. Uh, which I do write some commentary in there as well on the energy markets and, and, and there's a lot of other uh, uh, commentary as well covering the other commodity markets if you have some interest. So keep in mind that uh, futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk, may not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.